Well, uh, I was looking for uh, a follow-up project um, to Icarus, and I set out a, in my mind a kind of a checklist of things that I needed uh, for myself to be want to take on uh, a project and commit to it fully in the very quick aftermath of Jamal's murder. Um, I saw a story uh, surrounding freedom of press, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of journalism, freedom of thought, freedom of opinion, and uh, a 60-year-old Washington Post journalist uh, who had been murdered uh, for speaking truth to power. And, you know, this story captured me. And the story of Hatija Jengas, his fiance, captured me. And very shortly uh, in the days following his murder, a story broke in the New York Times about Omar Abdulaziz, uh, the young Saudi dissident uh, living in self-exile uh, in Montreal, who uh, was claiming that he um, essentially knew why uh, Jamal was murdered and blamed himself partially for this murder. Um, because they've been working together. Jamal Khashoggi, prominent Saudi journalist and Washington Post columnist, has gone missing after visiting his country's consulate in Istanbul. The story triggered for me, um, you know, my, my desire to make films that have a, an activist component to them, especially under the four years of the United States living under the Trump administration, where in, we saw uh, our freedom of press uh, being challenged, our freedom of thought and opinion being challenged, uh, a free press being challenged, um, that the story felt all the more urgent. As to what it triggered in me, uh, it triggered for, in me a call for justice as a filmmaker um, which I consider myself first and foremost. Um, and I use film uh, as a medium to tell stories and hopefully tell stories that can have impact and change. Um, this story certainly checked those boxes. The King firmly denies any knowledge of it. It could have been rogue killers, who knows? I, I don't know who is so scared about it uh, to censor it. All that I know is that the film was not acquired for global distribution, uh, despite tremendous reviews uh, uh, at the Sundance Film Festival uh, and a ton of other media outlets. Uh, so, you know, clearly there is not been uh, a desire uh, to not uh, have the film uh, be widely released. We knew that they would try to sweep the whole thing under the rug. Well, I, I think the movie uh, answers these questions. I think viewing the film uh, shows, uh, you know, his intentions uh, and why, uh, certainly without justification. But, you know, uh, authoritarian governments and dictatorships in this day and age have, have shown that they are capable of, of extremely ruthless behavior uh, to quiet its critics or its dissidents. I mean, if you look at what has been going on with uh, Alexei Navalny in Russia, uh, or dating back to 2006 and Alexander Litvinenko, uh, this kind of, uh, of action taken by authoritarian regimes um, is not new. I think what is most shocking about the crime uh, is how they carried out this murder with such brutality, uh, how they tried to cover it up. Can you tell me what happened to Mr. Khashoggi? Saudi Arabia now suddenly is admitting that Khashoggi did die inside that building. It's been two years and four months uh, on uh, since Jamal's murder. And where the film ends is still uh, where the current situation is. There's been no uh, justice or accountability for his murder. Uh, it appears that the Biden administration is optimistically uh, looking to take action. Uh, Omar's uh, brothers and friends uh, still remain imprisoned. Um, 
and uh, Hatija um, is still carrying on her work fighting for justice for Jamal and, and hopefully on the other side of this uh, pandemic, uh, she'll be able to return to Washington, D.C., uh, where she was in the process of forming a foundation uh, to fight uh, uh, for um, justice for Jamal. And uh, Omar carries on his work uh, trying to free Saudi political prisoners and trying to uh, create a situation uh, where Saudis don't have to be scared uh, to have freedom of press or freedom of speech. It's been amazing that uh, Omar and Hatija have supported the film as I made the film for them. It's always a proud moment as a filmmaker uh, when the people that you make the film for uh, are not only proud of your work, uh, but support your work. Um, and I hope the film will bring some positive change, but also um, keep audiences uh, that see the film uh, on the edge of their seat. Omar and Jamal. Once you start working with us, you're not just a journalist, you're a dissident. <laughs>